trainer, Amanda Painter, physical therapist and fitness coach here. Today what I wanted to go over was um, something following up from a previous post I did uh, about if you're having some shoulder, or some elbow or any wrist pain while you're rowing. Uh, so in the last video I mentioned about your wrist position and for this what I want to address is kind of where you're pulling towards. Uh, so a lot of times when you're rowing what you'll find is that you'll kind of bring your elbows out or bring your elbows high, like you're trying to pull kind of high up. And you really want to try and focus on keeping your elbows down and in, like they're more relaxed. So it uses less of those shoulder muscles, puts less torque on the shoulders and the elbow, and you're just keeping your elbows relaxed, like you're pulling down. And pretty much you're, you're, if you're keeping your wrists neutral and bringing your arms down, it's going to kind of pull to right at your uh, below that chest line, bottom of your chest rib cage area. When you're doing that, what you're doing is, if you look behind my shoulders, I'm actually kind of pinching my shoulder blades together. Uh, so it's kind of like doing a row if you're doing like a bent over row with the weight. It's that same concept. Uh, so when you're in the rowing machine, instead of pulling up high, you're going to pull nice and comfortable and low so that everything's kind of relaxed. So give that a try, see how it goes. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, go ahead and let me know. Um, but that's a tip for kind of where to pull when you're on the rowing machine.